Welcome back to another video. My name is Tatiana, also known as your Awkward Gamer, and today we're going to be checking out Disney Dreamlight Valley's Avatar Designer Tool. Now, they just released this for free. It is exclusively on PC. Um, I believe it is on Steam. You can download it. You can make your character. You can take pictures with your character with other Disney or Pixar characters um, in the photos. It's really cool. You can post it up on social media, and you can actually import this character into your PC or console game. It's really cool. Definitely check it out I will leave a link down below to it it looks really cool and I'm excited to jump into it the support for the dream life valley video uh, like trailer reaction that video did so good on the channel you all were so supportive and so nice um, I loved reading comments under that video you guys are so awesome um, and I'm really excited to check out the game um, let me know if you guys are excited let me know if you're gonna check it out let me know who your favorite Disney or Pixar character is and without further ado let's jump into the character creation Okay, so here we are in the avatar designer tool. I'm excited to make a character and I don't think I'm gonna make the character look too much like me. This is a game after all and plus like I'd like to see all the different options and things like that. So I'm just gonna make a character in here and see kind of like uh, what you can do with the characters. Um, and it seems like you are the avatars and it seems like there are a lot of options. They have preset option as soon as you go in here. Um, this is the page that opens up and it's really nice. The first thing I notice in the preset options is a lot of inclusivity, which is awesome. Um, so I'm excited to jump in to this. I hope you guys are excited excited um, and then one thing I forgot to mention is if you do do this and you import your avatar on September 6th when Dreamlight Valley goes into Axis and you get a Founders Pack, you actually will get a special kind of like a crew neck um, and it, it has like Dreamlight Valley kind of like symbols on it. It's very cute. So definitely check uh, that out, the link out or check out this uh, little creation demo if you would like that in your game so yeah let's go ahead and jump in but i just wanted to kind of let you guys know i don't know if this will be my character we'll have to see we'll have to see if by the end i'm really in love with the character this is character creation is something that genuinely just like stresses me out sometimes because there's so many options so it takes me a long time you know so just we'll see we'll see what we come up with here but first off i'm seeing lots of options look in body shape lots of options which i absolutely love absolutely love all of these options you can also rotate your character and uh i think can you zoom in what is it? this says zoom in and out it says it at the bottom zoom in and oh, okay we can't Whoop. whoopsie oh so wherever your mouse is you can zoom in okay okay that's really cool even into the hands okay not the hands i think any part of the body because you can do like the um you know like if you had something up on the sleeve or the back or something you can uh you know put stuff on the clothes like lots of customizable options so that's really cool so they have lots of different types um of body shapes and body type which is really cool and then they have also lots of skin tones which is really really nice that they're very inclusive with what they are offering i really am loving that so far that's like my favorite thing just in these couple seconds my first impression that's kind of my favorite thing so far um, let's go ahead and check out the eyes. Uh, I don't know why we zoomed in. Let's see if we can fix. Okay, there. More, more to, you know, so like into the middle so we can see. Um, for the color of the eyes, it looks like there's lots of options. So you can do all kinds of different color variations, which is awesome um, and super nice. I'm just going to go with this option because um, I got brown eyes. <laughs> Um, and they have lots of options here for eye shape. Um, it looks like the eye lashes are attached to the eye shape. I kind of wish they weren't. They have lots of different options, which is nice. And they have lots of different eye shapes, which is nice. Just, I feel like I wish the eyelashes were separated, but it's really cool. Really cool. Nonetheless, I like these ones. I like how like flowy they are, uh, for me. So that's what I'm going to pick. They're all beautiful though. Um, it looks like, oh, we can do the eyeshadow color, which is actually kind of cool. So we can, let's see. Oh, it does the, okay. So it's like the outer eyeshadow and this is the inner eyeshadow because there's two different options here. So this is the inner, like in your inner corner. That's kind of neat. Um, I'm kind of liking, I kind of want to go really dark on the edge. Like dark, dark, dark. Maybe a black. It's not showing up very dark. Oh, there is eyeshadow opacity right here. So maybe, 
Okay, it only, ch well, actually, no, it does change. I thought it only changed this part, but it actually is changing this part as well. So I think it's just, maybe I just chose like not dark colors. Like if I did this, okay, it would be, yeah. It's definitely because I chose a lighter color, but I kind of like that light color. I don't know. What kind of color should we have there? Like something, I kind of like the black just because I like how it like comes off the, the eyeliner or the eyelashes. Sorry, I say eyeliner, the eyelashes. So, hmm. The purples are kind of cool as well. But I think I might just go with this pink for now. Just something, you know, it's kind of cute. Kind of cute, we'll go for that. And it looks like this is eyeshadow here. I'm kind of blocking it, but the first option you're seeing. Um, and, oh, okay, so you can actually, oh, this is kind of cool. You can actually have the eyeshadow spread to different parts, like um, just above the eyelid into the, um, oh, you could actually have none as well. Could we do none? Oh, we can't do none for the eyeshadow. I guess you could just turn it off, yeah, and then you wouldn't have any. Uh, but you could actually just not click any of these options. But you can have um, it go up into the uh, brow, and you can have it go um, kind of more to the side, like a wing, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to go... This one's kind of cool, honestly. I'm going to go with this one for now. Again, I don't know if this is going to be my avatar. I want to take hours and go in here, you know, and uh, customize. This is really cool so far, though. I'm really liking the options. Did we go into... Okay, we did body and eyes. We have brows, nose, mouth, jaw, hairstyle, face paint, facial hair. So lots of options. Let's go into the brows. Um, I don't know. I feel like the brows... I like very dark brows. Honestly, my brows are like kind of the same as my hair. Can we see? Is it kind of, it's kind of the same as my hair. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave the brows where they are right now. And then we'll come to the hair color and the hairstyle in a moment. So we'll leave the brows. But we have brow opacity. Oh, so we can turn the brows off. That's really cool. That's a really cool option in case someone would like to have this option. I think that's awesome. It's also cool that it's a slider because then it's like, you know, some people have very light eyebrows. So I like that option because everyone is all different. And I like that you can have whatever you would like in this game, which is cool. Lots of eyebrow options as well. Um, really, really nice. Like lots of options, which is cool. Honestly, choosing eyebrows is always hard for me because sometimes like they don't got my eyebrows. Um, but I like all the eyebrow variations that they have. They're really, really cool. I like this one because it looks like individual hairs. Isn't that really cool? I don't see that a lot inside of games, like having individual hair. So that's kind of nice that they have that as well, like in the way that this eyebrow looks specifically. But they all look really cool. Like they all actually kind of have that like in different variations of it because I think that's neat. So I think I might just go with these ones for now. Um, and then I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for eyebrows. And then we'll go up into nose and we'll see what we got going on. Okay, so I think this is the least amount of options we've seen, but still good. I feel like she's not in the middle. Okay, there we go. So I kind of wish she didn't turn to the side. I want to see her face like straight on, but that is okay. Um, lots of options here for the nose, which is awesome. I love these options. I think we can see them from this. Okay, she's like, no, you can't see these options. We'll go, th okay, we'll go through real quick. Girl, I'm trying. Please. So lots of options. I tried, I tried. She's really doing that herself. I'm not doing that at all. I'm trying to keep her, like whenever you see my mouse, I'm trying to keep her to the side. And look, watch, she's gonna, my mouse is here. Okay, now she's not doing it. Okay, see, she did it by herself. As soon as I went over here, she moved back. So she's, for some reason, like, turned to the side at all times. Um, these noses are all adorable, awesome. I'm gonna go with just this one. I'm just picking. <laughs> Again, we'll have to do a little avatar reveal on the release day. So if you wanna see what my avatar is actually gonna look like, Make sure that you're there on September 6th. You're here on this channel, September 6th, um, or maybe September 7th. I have to get the game and then get the video done and edited and everything, but be sure to be here on release, you know, week, let's say, and you will for sure see what my avatar looks like. I think it'll be kind of cool to see like a reveal of what my avatar looks like. Um, lots, wait, were we in the lips? Okay, we were. I, I'm getting like sidetracked. Lots of lip options, which is really nice. Very cool. I still wish I could see right from the front here. Very cool. Lots of options. 
Oh, it's cool. You can even see the teeth here in this option. Very nice. And then we have lip color. I think I'm just going to pick, I don't know, maybe this one. I'm just going to, I'm just picking options. We're just picking options for now. Um, I like that we can pick our lip color. Lots of options. Kind of like the eyeshadow, actually. It's the same kind of, so this must be the inner lip. Oh, it is. Are we still in the side? Come into the middle. Okay. We can see these lip options. These are kind of cool. The lip options are kind of cool because you could do like a really nice, like interesting looking lip, kind of like this. You could go really dark with a light or you could reverse it where it goes really light and then kind of dark. And then we have lip opacity. I wonder if you can also change because there's options down here because we have lip opacity. So you could have like none if you don't want any lipstick or like any makeup at all on your avatar. But they also have this, it looks like, which is, okay, let's actually, we'll pick a lip like, oh, a lip I used to wear all the time and I loved wearing this lip. Oh my gosh, I can actually do it. <laughs> it wasn't brown, it was actually, it was more like in the purples and red family. So it wasn't really these two colors, but I had this lipstick, it was my favorite lipstick. It actually is a lot like my lips I'm wearing right now. It was kind of like this, but it was a little darker. I had one like this and then one that, like the one I'm wearing right now, you guys can see. And then the one that was more like this one. And it was, I loved it. They're so, it's my favorite lipstick. I don't know, I don't know. I haven't worn lipstick because I've been in my house with a mask. Like I don't wear no lipstick, okay? I don't wear nothing. So I don't really wear makeup a lot anymore. But I, when I did, I would love wearing a really bold lip. It was my thing. People were like, look at that bold lip. That was like my thing. And this kind of reminds me of that. Like this, like with this, oh, it's, oh, it's the shine. This option is the shine. So we have, this is option one, two, three. So what's option, oh, okay. So this kind of disperses the shine, kind of like the lighter color. And this one's a little more concentrated in the middle. Okay, this is more of a matte. We got a shine. Oh, the upper lip is dark. That's some Kim Possible energy. We love that here. And then we have, so that's like with the shine and then without the shine. I think actually that's what each one is. I think it's with and without, with and without. Yeah, okay. So each one, this is like with the shine, without the shine. With the shine, without the shine, with the shine, without the shine. Kind of cool. Matte lipsticks also I love. I love both, but a matte lipstick for me, I don't know, man, it gets me. I love matte lipsticks. They're so cool. I kind of like this darker upper lip thing. It's kind of cool that they have that. And I kind of like the shine, I don't know. For the game, I kind of like the shine. Oh, look, you could just like not select an option and it would just immediately deselect uh, deselect like lipstick, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna go with this, this is kind of cool. It makes me want to change the makeup though. I kind of want to like, do something a little different now. Um, so maybe we'll head back over to our uh, eyes. See, this is what I mean by the eyes are gonna change and maybe just a darker, oh, why don't you go over there? Come back. Okay, let's go with, ooh, maybe a gold. Hmm, I'm not sure. I want it to be a little more muted. Like this, maybe? Hmm. I don't know, the fun colors are so fun though. I'd like one to be fun with the colors. I wish, like this one's kind of cool, but maybe I could just turn it down, right? Oh, but then we lose the black. We lose the black very quick. We lose this outer color very quickly. Hmm. I'll turn it back up. Oh, maybe we'll just go with this. You know, it's kind of, I know I'm looking basic right now. I trust me, my avatar will be a little more interesting. <laughs> Unless this is, you like this, I don't know. I get very, okay, listen, when I make avatars in videos, I get scared people are gonna make, <laughs> make fun of me, but it's what I like, so don't make fun of me. Okay, now we have, so we finished body, eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth. Let's go ahead and jump into the bottom options of jaw, hairstyle, face paint, and facial hair. The options so far have been pretty cool. These are really nice options to start with. So this is our jaw. It looks like we have a lot of options in here. I think this might be the most options we've had in one uh, like section, like one, I would call it a folder, like one folder of options. Um, so we can choose jaw shape. Why does she keep going over there? Can you please? You're being shy, come over here. Okay, so we have these ones, lots of, wait, did I skip any? 
Okay, there we go. Lots of really nice options here. Really, really neat. I think we'll just leave it on this one, but I love all of the options. Uh, we have blush. Okay, we have blush color. Okay, we can kind of, can you guys see that? Maybe if I go to one that's more like dramatic. Can you guys see that? Like if I'm just doing this, you guys can see, you guys can see. Okay, so it's kind, oh, it's also, wait, we can turn it up. Oh my. Okay, so you can turn it up if you want it like really, really bright. Uh, like to have like, not bright, noticeable, I meant. I meant to say noticeable, not bright. You can have your blush be very noticeable and it can be all different colors. I wonder what this one is that, oh, so it's your upper, um, your upper, um, bone, what is that? Your cheekbones? It's on your cheekbones and then it's also, um, down on your cheeks. So that's really cool. And then you can turn it up or down depending. Um, I don't know where it was, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna put it back at like 59%. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with like a, kind of like a this maybe like this I don't know is that how we do <laughs> blush when I tell you I haven't worn makeup in a minute I'm serious I'm serious I don't remember I don't remember how to put makeup on uh this is probably fine for now listen we again don't even know if we're keeping this character maybe not maybe yes it's really cool that you can change it so I think we're gonna go like here maybe maybe a little less I don't know something like that kind of cool Oh, and then we have more, we have more options. I forgot, we have even more. This is, oh, where the blush is. So it can be cheek, but oh, it can go across the nose. So if we turn this up, ah, so you can have it go across the nose a little bit as well. I used to do this. I used to go across my nose a little bit just to give some, you know, I feel like it's so, oh, maybe it's the colors I chose. Possibly. I feel like this darker one somehow is like not as, like you can see it, but it's not as, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's nice that you have these options. You can actually see now with it being in the darker one, see it moving. So one even comes up to here a little bit. So this one comes up to like up here and it leaves more of your nose open and this one covers across the nose and then this one covers more of just your cheeks down. Kind of cool. It's kind of cool that these these are uh, these are some cool options that they have. Okay, we have freckles as well, which is really cool. Lots of people got freckles. Freckles are super cute in my opinion. I like freckles. I don't have any freckles, but I think they're really cool. Um, and this is nice. So they can be also as well any uh, color it looks like. So that's kind of interesting. You can do that. And then they have the, oh, okay, so there's different, there's two different like, is it like shapes or tones? Oh, it's like completely different. But they don't, oh, they know they do show up, do they? Oh yeah, they do. Okay, and then you can decide the opacity of these as well. Very nice, very, very nice. I like that. That's so cute. Okay. Oh, and you can change the pattern of this. So I'm gonna turn it up just so you can see. Uh, the freckle pattern here can be changed. So that's really cool. I didn't even notice that that was the, I didn't like, I keep forgetting that we can keep scrolling because this one has so many options. That's really cool. They have so many options. That's so nice. And then again, you can make these like any of the colors it gives you. So you could have them be any, any kind of colors you'd like, which is very, very cool. Okay. Very neat. Birthmarks. Oh, wow. They even have birthmarks. That's awesome. Um, and there we go. And they have different spots for them as well in the, on kind of like this, the options. I feel like I'm blocking it. Can you guys, do you see? So this is the first option, my big head's blocking, and then we got this option and this option. She keeps, <laughs> there you go. Very cool, I like that. Okay, so that's the options for the jaw. The jaw I think is the most extensive options we've seen so far. Very cool. Now we're going into our hairstyles, and I think I'll just change the hair color 
darker and then maybe kind of like a lighter just so I can see the differences uh, in highlights as we go down but that's like maybe not the color that I'll pick I don't know so they have lots of different hairstyles I'm already seeing some inclusive hairstyles which is really nice uh, because sometimes like for me I have curly hair and it is really hard to get curly hair in games um, is she to the side again okay no she's in the middle I thought she tried to go to the side on me again like Oh, this is a really cute. I like this one. This is really cute. So it's sometimes hard to find curly hairstyles just available in games. So I like that they're starting out with some. I hope there's even more in the future um, that are here. We have some short hairstyles, long hairstyles, mid-length. Lots of options here. Really cool. I might zoom out just because it's kind of like so close. She's whipping around every time like she's like trying to style this hair for us. So lots of options. I'm going to go through all of them. This one, I feel like we were cut off because we were so zoomed in. This is a, I, this is glorious. I love this hairstyle. It's so curly. I love this one. Okay. Uh, I think we were here in our hairstyles. Was this shine always here? Okay. It wasn't. I was going to say this shine is bright in my eye. I was like, what is this? I think this is the one we started with. Lots of really cool hairstyles, super nice. And the highlight is different in every single one, as you can see. Like I made it very dramatic, just like a very like dark color and then light color, just so we could see how they are looking in each hairstyle. Cause it looks like they change for each one. Um, so sometimes it's like a, a two tone, I guess if we were to like, I don't know, maybe choose like this and then do like this. It would be like, that would be kind of almost like highlights possibly. I guess it's like a highlight in your hair. That's pretty much what it is. Kind of cool. I'll put it back where it was so we can keep it like kind of similar so you guys can keep seeing how the highlight looks. Um, there's this hair. Oh, this one's really cute. It's a wavy hair. Very nice. More inclusive hairs. Oh, this bright thing is popping up again. Very nice. Oh, I like this one a lot. I love the inclusive hairstyles, man. Me and my sister are always so upset because we both have like very curly hair and we're like, bro, where are the higher hairstyles? Wait, this is like a Vanellope hairstyle. Wait, are some of these, these, oh my gosh. Okay, some of these, I think this is like tangled. Some of these are based off characters. Really cool. I'm trying to show you guys, but she's truly moving. She's moving so much, I can't even rotate, okay. Really cool hairstyles. Lots of really cool ones. I like this. We're going to keep going. I don't care how long it takes. The hair is important. Okay. The hair is important. Okay. My hair. Lady Gaga. It's important. I like this one too. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. No, 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 I didn't. Okay. Oh, this one's really cool too. I like this one. Very nice. I hope they continue to update the hairs. I'm sure they will. Like, it seems like they're very, very, uh, the devs are very, like, like on it and like interested in having lots of customization abilities. Um, so that's really cool. Nice. Love it. I don't want to lose track of like where I'm clicking. There's a lot. Okay. We might be here for a long time. Okay. Look, let's just say we've looked at a lot of the hairstyles. I just feel like we are <laughs> running out of time. Oh, this one's really cute too. Oh my gosh. This gives me an idea for hairstyle. I'm going to try this hairstyle. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to try it. <laughs> it looks cute. Okay, we might go just a little faster. We won't do the whole turn. Okay, for some reason, this has Mother Gothel vibes, but not at all because it's not long enough. But I I don't know. Just this. I like this, though. I tried to do this with my hair, and it just, like, hit. It just, like, was too short because I cut my bangs too short by accident because I don't know how to cut my own hair. So <laughs> I kind of messed up my hair. Okay, we got this. Oh, lots of options. I'm going a little quicker. I kind of wish she didn't move every time. Cause <laughs> look at this hair. I wonder if we can change these hairs at any time. Oh, this is an Alice in Wonderland energy. Truly. We got some, oh, that was definitely like Cinderella vibes. Some of them I can recognize pretty quickly. So they have lots of options. It's got layers. We got this really cute short one. We have very, very cute hairs in here. I love this one too. This one's really beautiful. Lots of really, really nice hairs in here. You can even have none if that is your wish, which is awesome. I love this. I love the hairs, man. Oh, this one was cute. I didn't, oh, I thought it was pink tails. I thought it was two buns. 
Okay, lots of options. We went through those <laughs> options. Lots of options here. I like this one. It's very cute. Okay, lots of cool hairstyles. Lots of cool hairstyles. I'm gonna just pick this one because this one was the most fun. I might like for me, I was like having the most fun with this one. And I'm gonna put some nice dark kind of purpley highlights. Kind of cool. Okay, so that's the hair. Face paint. We got face paint and to the side again. Oh, now the eyebrows are looking like different because I didn't. Can we just do some, pur ooh, we're doing that. We're doing the dark purple eyebrows, those are cool. Okay, face paint. What is the face paint? Okay, I'm just gonna choose a purple. Oh, I see. This is really, really nice that they have this option. It is really nice that they have this option. That is really, really cool. And it can be any color you guys would like. So they have that, they have um, this option and then they have this, oh, it's like a little Mickey Mouse option. Very nice that they have those two options, inclusive, very nice. And then I don't know why on this one, the opacity would go down, but I guess it can be like very subtle if you wanted it to be for either. Very nice. Really cool, I like that. Okay, I wonder if we'll get more face, we probably will get more face paint options in the future even, like even more. I'm sure that, I'm sure they'll have all these options. I actually wonder if that's how they're gonna monetize the game and like, aside from the founders packs, which I'm low key a little bit disappointed in how expensive they are for founders packs. But I mean, I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. We'll talk about that probably on release day or if I make a video between, because they feel a little bit expensive. Like the deluxe one is the price of an entire finished game and this is an early access game and you're just buying into it. I feel like they're really expensive. The more expensive, for me it's 60 bucks for the deluxe, which is the mid-level. And then the really expensive one is like 89.99. It's almost a hundred bucks. Like, and it's just <laughs> exclusive, like bonus content and then an early access game that's not finished yet. So I don't know. I don't know, that's kind of interesting already. The monetization goal, like s the way it's looking is a little bit, you know, interesting. Some people I know are a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed, if I'm gonna be honest with you, um, when I saw that, cause I thought the buzz one was sick. The deluxe, middle deluxe pack was awesome. If you have game pass, you obviously, you have access to this already, which I mean, I have game pass, so that's how I'm gonna be playing it. But I, so I don't know if I'll pay for it for the deluxe pack because it's just a lot, I don't know, it's a lot, I don't know. But I really like the buzz outfit and stuff that you get with it. So the deluxe founders pack is the mid level. The first level you get automatically with game pass and you get to just play it for free, essentially not free, but like if you pay for game pass, you automatically get it. Um, anyway, that's my little rant about it, I guess. I guess this was the little rant about it, but I wasn't too excited when I saw just how much they were, I thought they could have been a little bit lower. Okay, facial hair. Let's check out the facial hair. I am excited to check this out. Uh, okay, so it looks like it's the same as your hair color. So if I change this, our hair color will change. So I'm not gonna change it. Um, so it looks like you can change your hair color and then your facial, actually no, your facial color can be different. So I guess if you want, if you get to this point, you can change your hair color again. Oops. Oh my gosh, I have a beard, yes. Okay, and see your beard can be any color you would like, which is really cool. So I can have a fantabulous pink beard and it can be everything. I love that. Is the hair going? Oh yeah, that's how a beard is. I'm so dumb, I just forgot how a beard is. <laughs> so you can have kind of like uh, shadows close to your face, like a, what are they called? Like five o'clock shadows or something? I don't know. You can have it kind of like a, a closer shave. You can have a shave with more of the uh, front and mustache. I personally love this shave. I think it looks really nice. Um, and you can have a shave that's just a bit closer, like there's no hair here. And you can have a, kind of a chin, not, it's not a goatee. Is it a goatee? I guess your goatee area, so your mustache and goatee. So this is like a full beard and then just your mustache and goatee area would have facial hair and then your uh, goatee area. That's how I, I don't know if that's how you differentiate the parts of a beard, but that's how I'm gonna differentiate them. Cause I, I am not sure. I should ask my brother, cause I don't know. Um, you can also make it darker or lighter. So I guess this is when I was saying five o'clock shadow, like there's like different um, lengths of growth that you can have, which is really cool. It looks really good actually. It actually looks really, really nice. 
I think they did a good job with it. Like the hairs and everything individually, they look really cool. Um, you can also have, it looks like um, beards that come off your face, so longer beards. And oh, this beard, oh, I'm looking good with this beard. So it looks like you can actually layer these. Oh, you can layer everything because there's mustaches down here. So we have a lovely, uh, here, we'll take this off for a second. We have a lovely, um, kind of like, didn't Lumiere have a mustache like this after he like became, or was it Collinsworth? I think it was Collinsworth. But someone had a, this cool mustache, okay? This cool curly mustache is awesome. And you could also go ahead and just have the, the goatee area if you want. You can make it darker so it's more visible. You could do the full beard with it or just the goatee. So you could actually stack these. You could like take the underbeard off or you could have all of it and then you could layer these. Looking so good. I'm looking so good. And this one looks like it's longer and it, it goes up a bit higher. And then this one's a little bit shorter and then a little bit, uh, it's just a little, little bit of a shorter beard. And it doesn't, I think, go up as much on the sides. So you can layer them, which is really cool. So your mustache can also be any which way, or you could just take off the beards and just have a lovely mustache. Very cool. I love the mustaches and beards. They look great. They look awesome. And I'm sure these can be any color as well. Oh, I okay. So I think, wait a minute. So it looks like the under beard, like the, the first set of beards, like the um, close shaves are, can be different colors. But it looks like, see the mustache isn't changing. It's not changing at all. So like if we made this light blue, it hasn't changed. So I think you actually have to change, uh, whoops, wrong thing. You actually have to change it. So that changes with your, act. that's kind of weird actually. Why does it do that? It, this, so if you choose any of the facial hair that's long or comes off of your face like this, um, the close shave you can do individually, but for some reason the longer hair is the same has to be the same color as your hair. So that seems that's kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested as to why it's not like why this wouldn't change it. Like why why just the why is just the close shave the one affected? That seems kind of weird to me. I feel like if this is your facial hair, like all of this is facial hair. But for, it seems like it's just counting the sh close shaves as facial hair. And then these are uh, like a part of your hair almost, which is kind of interesting. So keep that in mind. Maybe that, I don't know, that might be kind of something you don't like. And then you can have it all the way off if you would not like a beard. So kind of cool. Let's say ready because we still have to get in to our wardrobe. This video is gonna be so long. <laughs> All right, touch of magic. Let's see what this is. Oh, so the touch of magic is where you can modify. So it says choose add to create a new custom design. You can modify or remove your designs later. Nice, so add new. Oh, a backpack, you know it. And create. Oh, add up to 50 motifs to add an item, modify the layer order by dragging it. Oh, there's layers. Choose the color of your selected item. Okay. Touch of Magic disclaimer. Touch of Magic is a tool meant to express your creativity. Be mindful and create content suited for all audiences. Uh, you know people are going to try and put some inappropriate content on these things. Yes, I will obviously abide by the rules because that's the best way to play. Okay? And if you're going to not play that way, then don't play at all. Just going to say that. Just going to say that. Um... Okay, let's change the color. You know what, what am I, we don't even know if we want a backpack. Let's just see what this tool is like and then we'll go into the, the clothing more. Since I'm already here, but we don't even know. We don't even know what we like. Okay, we're going with a, this one. And we're gonna go ahead and put, ooh, they have different kinds. What is this? Touch of magic motif placement. Rot uh, move, rotate, and resize the motif on your item. Modify the motif with layer effects in the top bar. Change the camera angles quickly, use this. Okay. What is this? Is this just supposed to look like, oh, is this a rip? Is this supposed to be a rip? I wish I knew what it was called. I don't think we have a name for what it was but I think it's supposed to be a rip. Okay, kind of cool. 
like a rip in your jeans or something. Do you know what I mean? I think that's what this is supposed to be for. Okay, kind of cool. Um, let's, if we click all, okay, yeah, let's click all and just see everything. Oh, okay, so we have some Monsters, Inc. We have Simba, we have Tangled, we have Buzz Lightyear, we have the Little Mermaid, we have a Lilo and Stitch, and then we have just some shapes and things like that that are unrelated to Pixar or Disney. They're just kind of cool shapes where you can make whatever you want. And the thing is, you can combine these shapes. You can do a lot of really cool things in there. Um, oh man, they have a Wally -E sticker. That's really cool. They also have pockets. So you can put extra pockets. We got Beauty and the Beast stickers. Lots of cool things. We have Wally, -E, I believe that's what this is. Moana, I think. We got Remy. We got a lot of stuff. And then what is this? Oh, a gradient. Oh my gosh. We just added a great. Oh, did we not add it? Was it not big enough? Okay, good. And we can change it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, let's do it like that. Okay, and then we don't wanna we don't wanna be clicked on it. Okay, so it kind of, the gradient kind of didn't go on there very well. Oh, it's weird because it shows it goes on really well and then it didn't go on very well. And that's the biggest I can make it. Like if it goes like that to that side, this side gets kind of not done up with it. That's kind of interesting. What are these for? Is that duplicate, cut, move? I'm not sure what these all mean. Okay, cut. I don't know what that one. I wish, okay, I wish they had, I don't know if I'm just not seeing it. I wish they had words, like if you hovered over this, that you could see what it means. Because some of these, I'm not sure what it's doing. I don't know if I'm just like not good at this, but I feel like I'm n not sure what it's doing. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's doing. I think that just cuts it all together. Oh, this is just localizing it. Oh, so we could just have our pocket. It kind of works on just our pocket. It kind of is bleeding into the side. This will be a tool that you're gonna, you might have to get used to using. It's really cool though. It's a good tool. What's this mean? And then that's the colors. And then what's this one? Whoops. Oh, you can rotate. Okay. And then this is to make it bigger or smaller. Okay. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Yeah. So it didn't go on that well, but that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I would have to play with that and find out kind of like what it, uh, Oh, villainous is an option, but we can't click on it yet. So that's kind of cool. Let's go into characters. We love characters. Oh, we got Wreck-It Ralph as well. Okay. Well, let's just, you know, let's just put the Mickey thing on there. Let's just do it. We'll put the Mickey thing on our backpack. I might as well. Might as Okay, maybe this. Oh, okay. We can see it better here. So this is to, so it didn't work with the gradient, but this kind of made a, um, kind of like a, oh, I forgot what it's called, but like it's, it kind of collages it over. It coll I don't think collage is even the word. I know the word and I can't think of what it is, but it kind of just like duplicates it. It makes pattern. It's like making a pattern. Um, so that's really neat. This one just cuts it all together. This is a duplicate of it. Ah, okay. So you can like duplicate it. This I think is just reversing it. And this, I'm not sure what this one's doing. Oh, wait. I don't think it's showing on the front because it can't because it's a backpack, but I think that's what that's supposed to do. And this just localizes it. Well, I kind of like this print. That's kind of cool, you know. Uh, we'll do color. Whoops. We'll go with something like that and we'll make the actual backpack color be a little lighter. Maybe. Okay, maybe a backpack color like this, and then this color will actually be more. Uh, huh, the white looks kind of blue. 
Oh, we can make them bigger or smaller. We could rotate them. All right, maybe we'll just go with like, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that and then we'll make the backpack be like a pink like that. I don't know, something. We're just trying to see. For now, that's good. Save and quit. Oh, and so you can actually save the items and you can put them on. Oh, okay, so you can make, a oh my gosh, you can make, you could spend a lot of time in here making a bunch of items and then you could just leave them and like come back and get them. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you can come back in. Okay, so, oh. Okay, wait a minute. There is too much in here. Okay, let's look at hats. Let's look at hats. Let's take our backpack off for a second that we made. We'll come back. We might use it. I just want to see like what we got. So let's let's just start with our shirt. Okay, let's just start with the shirt. Okay, this is just so many options. We have a lot of... Oh, this shirt's cool. I'd wear this in real life. I would. I'd wear it in real life. We have... Uh, Lion King themed shirts. We have Vanellope themed shirts. Really cute. We have Lumiere. We have, oh, a villain. I think there's Maleficent. We have Maleficent on there. Oh, we actually have multiples. We have Male. Okay, please, let me see. Okay, please. <laughs> Why does the camera go to the side? Okay, we have Maleficent. We have, um... Ursula and we have the evil queen. It's just the evil queen, right? I'm so white. I think she's just the evil queen. And then we have, I think that's a Moana themed shirt or like tank top. Lots of options here, a Buzz Lightyear theme. Very cute. And then some plain shirts. And these shirts, like you, they may look like maybe they're just, you know, with a gradient. You can go change these shirts. We've learned. So we can go and make these shirts however we want them to be. But they have so many options. Like, we're, I don't think this video, I think, would be way too long. Oh, this shirt's sick. I would wear this shirt in real life. They have so many options in here. Like, all these different franchises. Shirts that you probably would find in real life. Just chilling. Super cute. I actually think I saw that at Disney when I was there a couple years ago. Like, honestly. Oh, they have some stuff that's a little... Oh, it, this is something from Wally. What's this one? Oh, they have it in different colors as well. I like the green one. The green one's really... Okay, the, the animation every time you change something is way too much. Because I'm trying to look at it immediately. I wish she didn't move. I wish she didn't move. Oh, and they have the shirt we wore, but in different colors as well. It's kind of cool because it's kind of like, you know, maybe someone who may be a little bit older. Like, I, I can see, like, anyone of any age playing this. But maybe someone who's a little older may not want... I mean, they honestly may because, you know, everyone be popping off. But, like, they may want something a little more subtle. And so they may go for something like, like this maybe and customize it themselves to be a little bit more what they want. I can see that. Um, you know, we had a lot of people, which was super awesome, playing, like... Um, Animal Crossing with like their grandparents and stuff and I thought that was super cool So like I could easily see because this is on the switch as well if they got switches This is going to the switch and you'd easily be able to see like um, More people. Okay. Why? I feel like it didn't zoom into the shirt, right? I was trying to just go click on shirts um, I feel like you would easily be able to be like hey you want to download this It's, it's gonna be free like by next year So if they don't want to buy the founders you don't want to buy the founders pack You could play this with them easy and they would be able to have options that you know Maybe not you would be like who would choose that but maybe they would choose that right? There's so many options for everyone in here, which is awesome um, There's so many things you can mix and match um, like these are really cute. Everything's really cute in here, right? And I think that's awesome. So they have things that are, you know, flashy and then things that are a little more subtle. And then you can always change something to be even more flashy, more subtle and like, like super pretty, super nice outfits. We're just going to go with, honestly, I really liked this. <laughs> I'm going to go with this. Okay. I'm going to go with this and we'll see how it goes. But it, there's so many options. I actually feel like this video is going to be so long. Oh, glass. Okay. Look, you guys know. Yo, maybe this will be my avatar. Maybe this will be my avatar because truly, she's looking real cute and I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> she's looking cute. We have all these different frame colors. Okay, the spin. Different frame colors, um, which I really like. Um, and then they, we got shades. We even have some cool, like robotic looking options. Some sunglasses. We have goggles. Look at it. You can dress however you wish. I love it. It looks like there's masks as well. So maybe some Incredibles energy because I don't think we've seen them. 
but you guys know they're going to be in here. Someone also mentioned to me that Tiana, they didn't see. Tiana, I'm sure, is going to be in here. She's a, I'm pretty sure she's a Disney princess. I never saw that movie. Um, but I think the person in the comment had said that they're a Disney princess, so, like, she should be in here. We're going to get superheroes. They have Star Wars. Like, they have so many franchises that are probably going to be in here. And I'm super down to play this. I want my brother to play this, but he's kind of hesitant right now because he's like, if Star Wars goes in or Marvel, I'll play it. And so I'm, like, kind of hoping they come in just so he, he plays it. I think if Incredibles even comes in, he'll play it. Um, but we can't access masks, but it looks like that's an option. That makes me feel like, for sure, we're going to get some superheroes in here um, in the future. Oh, we have headbands. Oh, so, so I was wondering, actually, with this hair specifically, because it was um, because of the upper, like, uh, buns, if you would still be able to put stuff on and you can which is amazing i'm getting so excited <laughs> i'm getting excited you can i was worried see oh this is so good so okay this is something that happens in some games like there's a game called dinkum that my siblings and i have played and when you wear a hairstyle that is one of the curlier ones or actually almost i think it's any hairstyle that's down we we've only worn the curly ones because that's just the ones that we picked but we were noticing that like when you put a hat on in that game and this is no hate to that game that's a good game as well dinkum but when you put a hat on your hair disappears into the hat and it's just like there's no hair and i understand that it's really hard to like also make all of the different options but it's really nice to be able to have hair and put hats on and still have hair this is actually the hair i'm gonna pick for a fact i know this is the hair but it's nice to be able to have that and have that option instead of like the hair getting altered so much. It's like you have no hair, but this just simply looks like the hair with the hat on. I really appreciate that. I was actually very concerned, even the chef hat. See, I was actually super concerned with how this was going to look and how it was going to translate with a hair um, that had that was so stylized. I'm happy because I like this hair and I wouldn't want to. Oh, you can even have cockles. I wouldn't want to miss out on it. Even there's a game called Tower of Fantasy. I've been playing the same thing. You put something on the head and the hair gets messed up or you wear a certain outfit and the hair gets changed. And it always frustrates me because I'm like, why? Yes, look, look at us trying hats on and still being able to have our hair. I love, oh my gosh, we can have cowboy hats. The vibe of having Buzz Lightyear and Woody, like Woody on, okay. I was not about to finish that sentence and no one could say I was about to say that. No one can say I was going to say that. We're moving forward. I was not about to say what I was about to say. Yes, they have head wraps. Yes. And head scarves. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I am. Oh, pirate hats. I'm really, really happy with the inclusivity in this game. Like really happy with it. I am. I'm almost a little bit, uh, like blown like blown away by just how considerate they are and and honestly this should be the standard i shouldn't be blown away i shouldn't be surprised the standard should be having this much inclusivity in every single game i should not be sitting here going oh my gosh clap so good like this should just be this we should be like oh yeah look there's options are here that's how it is like i'm super 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 happy and pleased and and pleasantly i guess surprised when i shouldn't be for these options to be here i think that's awesome and i'm so happy this hat is fire this hat's cool um i'm so happy that these options are here i wonder if we can change i'm sure we can change ourselves at any time i think once you get a house i feel like if you go into wardrobe we should be able to access this uh because it like you know i'm always wanting to change my fit in a game and in real life like I'm, i change every day so why can't i change in the game this is really cool you know being able to wear the hat like this is so big. I don't think some of y'all may understand just how big that is for me <laughs> that it can change. I like these goggles too. These goggles look cool. Like I kind of want to wear these. Man, that is so awesome. I like the diff the thing of having the like a hat like Woody's and then wearing this. I kind of like this. All right, let's continue. We shall continue. Okay. Maybe we won't wear a hat because then like our hair, you know, but I love, let's wear a hat. You know what? Let's just wear some ears. Let's just wear some ears because we might as well. Do we have any ears? That, we don't have any. Why aren't there any like white ears or like blue, like lighter blue ears? The purple ears are kind of cute too. The purple ears are kind of cute though. Okay, I'm gonna put those on. Okay, um, glasses. Okay, oh, we can go down to ear. We're gonna be here for days. We're gonna be here for days. Oh my gosh, they have nice hoops. <gasps> Roses. Oh, those are nice. The way that I'm gonna have Ellie download this, and I know she's gonna be on it for hours. 
I feel like she will. I don't know. I feel like she will. Is this from Sword in the Stone? I feel like that's the only IP they have with a sword like that. Because I saw a sword in stone in the motifs. These are absolutely beautiful. These are these are weapons. Listen, if I had these on me and I, I would shrug because I shrug a lot because I don't know anything. <laughs> but if I were to shrug, carnage. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are all so cute. I actually really like these, honestly. I was going to do this with my ears and I got scared because it was going to be painful. So I didn't do it. Oh my gosh, the earrings are such a vibe. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm wearing these because it's just like, they're so, they're so cute. I wish they had some that were just kind of, I guess these are the simplest ones. I wish they had ones that were maybe just a little more, maybe that color. That were just a little, uh, like maybe little like um, circles or like a little square or something, just like here. Like even, not me asking to be even more simple. <laughs> Because I'm so simple. Oh my god. Oh. First instance of it changing your fit. Oh, so I guess with this fit, because this comes up, which makes sense. I guess it can't go over it. There's no necklaces long enough. Okay, you can have headphones and scarf. So it looks like these necklaces specifically you cannot. If you have a high neck uh, or like a, a, it's a turtleneck, like a turtleneck or a high necked outfit, like shirt. These won't go over top. What does that say? What is this from? Zero one 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 zero zero one. Interesting. These chokers are cute though. Oh my gosh, these are all so beautiful. Yeah, so these don't go over, but anything from the scarf, it looks like down? Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that a deer? Gaston, that's a deer, bro. That's a deer. The whole deer in there. Oh, winter. Get your winter vibes. Oh, actually, wait, our shirt's different. Okay, I'm lying to you. Oh, it's be oh, wait a minute. So it doubled up. So we have this, which oh this is the coin from wait. Did they already confirm Pirates of the Caribbean? Well, they just did if they didn't. Okay, so this is Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the the cursed coin. Yeah, gold treasure medallion. So this, it looks like layered. Did you see that? So if I take off the medallion, the, my shirt comes back. So you can also layer these, which is kind of cool. So it looks like only these top ones you can layer on the bottom because I can't have headphones and a scarf. I can have the medallion and the headphones though. Okay, kind of cool, kind of cool. So these are some Monsters Inc. headphones. As you, you Did you see the Monsters Inc. logo in the back? Pretty cool. And then we have these, the handkerchief, which is like Woody's handkerchief, obviously. A little bit. Is it? It feels like it is. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe it's not at all. I kind of like the headphones though. I'm kind of like, like looking good with these headphones. Yeah, these look good. I'm down for this. Okay. We can have coat. So this goes, it goes over your hoodie. Look at the options. You can do anything. Oh, and it'll even roll up the sleeves. You see, this is a long sleeved uh, kind of shirt that I'm wearing, but it will roll up the sleeves to match it. That's kind of, the 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 the, the details they've put into this is pretty good. Like I, a lot of companies don't do that. Like, I love this jacket. I would wear this. What is this based off of? Is that a wine bottle? Or is it like a cutting board? Dude, this is sick. I'm wearing this. I don't even care. I don't want anyone to talk to me about it. I'm wearing that. You have the prince's out coat. You can have like a, just a regular winter coat. So I guess for seasons, if you want to change, you can change. 2319. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm pretty sure this is like, yeah. This is a, uh, like Monster Zinc when the, the people come in. What are they called? They're... I can't even remember what they're called, but they, they run in they're like, if there's a 2319, it's cause like a kid's item or something got out and it's on you. These jackets are so cool. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go ahead and put this because this is insanely cool and incredible. I'm looking so good. Honestly, might be my, my character, I'm not gonna lie. This might be her, I don't know. I have to go through, there's so many options. Okay, backpack. We're, are we at the backpack? Yes, we did the tops. Backpack. This is pretty sick. All the options we have here. Did you see this? <laughs> He's in there! 
Oh my gosh, he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wear this and every time we do anything in the game, I'm just gonna be like Remy Are you ready? And then I'm just gonna turn you guys are just gonna see him. <laughs> That's so cute. Bo Peep. I have a weapon. <laughs> I have Bo Peep staff, bro That's so cool. And then you can have these backpacks which were are you know a little more subtle. That's me. I love this Remy one I would buy this. I literally would buy this. You guys don't know how much like random stuff I I had in my room prior to me moving. I had to like kind of get rid of and be like, I don't need this stuff. I am now an adult and like I have younger cousins who might like this stuff and I don't need it. But I am so bad. If I have some bills, I'm going to be like the bills are going right into the Disney store. <laughs> oh, this one's really cool too. The Monsters Inc. themed one. These are all so cool. Vanellope. The honestly, the mic as well. Oh, the mic fits my outfit so well as well. Oh, my booty kind of pushing his legs. <laughs> his legs kind of touching my booty a little bit. Um, this one's really cool. I like that. This is actually me in public. You guys have no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. It's really between these two right now. It's truly between Mike and Remy. Oh my gosh. They're, I think maybe Mike just because it's fitting the green aesthetic. But the Remy one might be the one we run around the game with. Because I think just referencing Remy, like Remy's coming on the adventure, is just going to be too much. And I need to do it. It's so cute. These are such cute backpacks. Oh my gosh. There's so many. We have like some that are um, tangled themed. The turning around is really getting me. Okay. What else? Bracelets. Oh my gosh. So There's so many options. Bracelets. Are these? Okay. All bracelets. So watches and bracelets. Oh, can't wear it with my outfit. Okay. So I guess you have to have an outfit that has a quarter sleeve or higher. Um, so keep that in mind. We're not doubling up on these. I don't think though. Yeah. These are really cute. Oh, even a watch. So you can't wear anything on your wrist. If you're wearing something, uh, that's really cool. I like that. The little fitness watch. So you can't, oh, the jacket also disappeared. So maybe you can't wear a jacket or uh, a long sleeve shirt if you're gonna wear one of these things. Cause I guess you wanna show it off. I guess that's the point. You're not just wearing it to wear it. Like it doesn't wanna, they don't wanna have that rendering into the game if it doesn't need to be seen or anything, which makes sense. Um, the gloves, oh my gosh. I can have gloves. Oh, you can have rings. That's cute. What if you play this with your, you know, your partner, your significant other, and you got like, oh, you wanna wear rings. That's so cute. Or if you just wanna wear a ring, honestly, I'm just gonna wear it. I wear rings like this. I wear rings like this all the time. And then people are like, oh, are you married? I'm like, oh, nah, I just like, don't like wearing rings on their fingers. They have cool gloves in here. Oh, snap. I do this too. You can have multiple rings. This is, I love doing this. Okay, the twirling is getting to be a little much. <laughs> oh, Paris themed. Okay, so they can all be, you can have a day. Oh, your nails changed too, girl. Get that, get that, get your nails done. <gasps> oh my, oh, this one comes with nails. This one's kind of a look. I kind of like this. I think it's the only one that comes with nails is the dagger one. So keep that in mind. If you want some nails, the dagger one has nails. I hope we get an ability to just have nails. That'd be kind of sick. So we have all these options. We have like ones that go up to our arms as well. Oh, oh white knit gloves like Mickey. I might. I just, just joking. These are too cool. I'm sorry. I'm wearing the nails. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm wearing the nails. Okay, pants. Oh my gosh, I forgot we didn't even change our pants. We have blue dress pants. Ooh, these are so pretty. I love the sides. Okay, blue dress pants, high-waisted jeans. These are for sure like Vanellope vibes. You know, I just feel like that's what they, they got going on. Um, oh, so these are the same as the dress pants and they have the nice, these are so pretty. Okay, blue skinny jeans. I think that's what we were wearing initially, possibly. Black, we got red, a look, boot cut. Oh, blue boot cut jeans. So those were skinny jeans. We got boot cut jeans of all different kinds of colors. We have some ripped rolled cuff jeans and then just rolled cuff without the rip. Stylish, ooh, we got them sweatpants. I live in these, I live in sweatpants. 
We have, ooh, you wanna go mermaid? We got scaled shimmery uh, pants. We got camo pants. We got stuff for everyone in here. The holographic, I think that goes with that holographic kind of outfit we were wearing. Um, ooh, they have this these really nice um, checkered chef pants. We got tanned pleated pants. We have frilly, frilly pants of different colors, pink, purple, and blue. We have black sweat pants, which are, what is the difference between the other ones? Oh, they were stylish sweats, sorry. These are the not stylish sweats, these are just sweats. <laughs> these are just sweats. I think they're stylish, I'd still be wearing those. Um, we have blue slacks, tattered jeans. We got some fancy jeans. Oh, wait. Jodapers. I don't know what those are, but I feel like maybe pirates wore them. I don't know. <gasps> these are so cute. I would wear these in real life. I actually have seen jeans that look like that, and I could. They were expensive, guys. They were like 70 bucks for pants, and I was like, <gasps> too much. It's like a founder's packer. <laughs> that pair of pants. It was too much. So I didn't, but these are so cute. But I feel like it's so much now. Like, I feel like my pants have to be plain for this fit. And then we have cummerbund pants. Super cool. Okay, and that's kind of a quick rundown of the pants. Uh, I'm kind of gonna flow back to the jeans I was wearing. I think they were good. Is this the jeans I was wearing? I feel like these are the jeans. Okay, are these the jeans? Yeah, I think it was just skinny jeans. I think the color was fine for like that. It kind of matched the vibe. Okay, oh, we have skirts as well, which is really cool. Oh, you can layer the skirts. That's really cool. Listen, I'm not gonna go back and turn the pants off. We are so long into this video. I've been recording for almost two hours now. Two hours. But we have lovely skirts here. Here, let me let wear a skirt and stop spinning. Okay, there's the skirt. Very nice. And they have lots of different skirts. Pleated skirts, Candyland skirts. They have a long, ooh, this one's really pretty. I love the color of this one. A longer skirt, very pretty. Blue jean skirt. Oh my gosh, why is layering it kind of a look right now? Wait a minute, so you could probably make it look like you have leggings underneath if you wanted to. Yeah, that just kind of looks like you have leggings. I don't think there was anything like leggings in here, actually. Now that I think about it, yeah, there's nothing like leggings. I'm surprised they didn't have anything like leggings in here. I mean, with the jeans, it's fine. It's kind of cute, actually. It's kind of it's kind of giving something. We got shorts. Okay, now we can layer the shorts. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and get rid of the skirt. Okay, we got shorts. And we have all kinds of shorts in here. Oh my gosh, so many shorts. Oh, we got beach shorts. I love these shorts. I wear these shorts at the beach. We have all kinds of shorts. Cargo shorts, some cute woven shorts. Uh, high-waisted shorts. Oh, these are kind of cute with my fit. These are kind of cute with my fit. Wait, why do we have no purple pants? We had no purple pants. Socks, you can't have those. You can't have socks until the game is complete. <laughs> so there's no socks, but we can change. Wait, does that mean if I do this? Oh, I can't see the feet. I was wondering if I could like take the shoes off if you could just have no shoes. Okay, so we have combat boots, which I'm in love. Hello, I'm in love. Oh my gosh, this is a fit. I would wear this. I would wear this. Any of my family members could attest to me wearing this. This is, that literally, I literally would wear this. Okay, pink. We got some sneakers with some Mickey Mouse inspiration over here. Very cool. We got lace up boots. We got knee highs. These boots are really cute, actually. I actually have had a pair of these to kind of look like that. Um, we got some heels. Ooh, adventure in your heels, let's go. We got slip on boots. I have boots like this as well, very cute. Kind of like these white boots with this fit. Actually a lot. Might be the, what we put on. Uh, and then performance sneakers, which I think this is what we were kind of wearing when you first came in. We have some flats, super cute flats with roses. We have flat bottom sneakers. Just call them DC sneakers. That's what they kind of, <laughs> that's what they kind of are. We got black, ooh, what's on the side? Black lace-up boots, kind of cute. 
We've got, oh, these are scaled stilettos. So these are probably to go with the scaled pants. So you can look a little like a mermaid, a little bit of mermaid vibes going on. Um, we got some cool heels with open toe. We got some red sneakers, classics. What do we got on the side of these sneakers? <laughs> Remy, <laughs> we got Remy on the sides of these sneakers. Uh, we have intricate gold heels, which I'm pretty sure these are based off of Belle. If the vibes are right. Yeah, these are Belle shoes, 100%. Those heels are gorgeous. The see-through with the vines, absolutely gorgeous. We got some black sh dress shoes. Honestly, I feel like those go with the chef's outfit. Okay, and we got... Uh, some of these futuristic kind of high-tech trainers, which go with probably the high-tech outfit. I kind of want to make one of those full outfits and see what it looks like. Ooh, some really pretty sandals, some woven sandals. Dolly shoes. You could probably dress them really cute like a dolly. Like, there's so many ways to dress. It's so cool. Some chunky sneakers. These are for sure, I think, Buzz Lightyear themed. So these actually could be what I would wear with this outfit. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wear boots. <laughs> Ooh, cowboy boots. Super cool. Or actually, yeah, cowboy boots. Then we got some more sandals. I thought they were called something different. We got foodie loafers. Oh, these are the chef's uh, things, foodie loafers. Um, and then rubber boots, because if it rains, this actually is kind of, this kind of works with my fit. I'd, I'd wear that with my fit. This is me going out in the rain, truly. Black and gold shoes with, oh my gosh, these Spiky gold accents are gorgeous. Love that. We have snow boots because it feels like when you go to Arendelle, you're gonna have to bundle up. Okay, you're gonna have to bundle up. Button boots looking super cool. We got adventurers boots in different colors, which is really cool. We got sharp heels. Listen, you can wear Sully slippers. Do we need to continue? Classy shoes, you know, we got all of it. We got the Mickey high tops, we got all of it. This fit is truly on fire right now, guys. It's truly on fire. And I have to remember everything I put on because it's so... Where did I say I was going to wear these? I kind of like these with it. I don't want to talk about it. I just kind of like these with it, okay? It's kind of... I kind of like it. Um, dresses. Oh my gosh, this is going to delete my fit. It kind of deletes. It kind of looks strange. But let's look at the dresses. You can go like your bell. You can go icy blue like Elsa. You can go... Black Sweetheart Strapless Gown. It describes them in there. Oh, the long sleeve ones are really pretty. I like long sleeve dresses. Um, we can also go with, oh my gosh, Scarlet Snowman's Gown, super pretty. Rapunzel's, oh, Rapunzel's Summer Sundrop Gown, gorgeous. Ooh, little back, oh, black tea dress. I love tea dresses, they're so cute. I love tea dresses. Um, and then we have some more gorgeous dresses. I'm not gonna click on every single one of them. So cute, mouse sewn dress. I think these are the Cinderella dresses. Super, super cute. I'm loving these and I'm excited to see, ooh, I don't wanna keep a dress on. There we go. <laughs> I worked hard in that fit. <laughs> um, and then costumes. Last but not least, I think that's every option. And then touch of magic, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, can you touch of magic anything? Okay, so you can do all of the scarves um, and wraps, which is really cool. You can do, oh, we can do our own Mickey ears. So we could have done white Mickey ears, but these ones kind of grew on me, I'm not gonna lie. You could do your own baseball cap, t-shirt dress, cottage dress, uh, which Ellie, I think, is gonna end up doing that like all day because she loves cottage. I think it's cottage dresses. I think. Um, long sleeve gowns, sweetheart strapless, basic hoodies, jerseys, which is, and I think, I thought they were called crewnecks, but I think what I'm wearing technically is a jersey. So I think what I'm wearing is a jersey. So this type of cut, you could make it look however you want. Cropped cardigan and a tank top. So lots of options for the customization. Oh my gosh, I lost my backpack because I thought it would just, okay. We gotta keep, we gotta bring Mike with us. Okay, so for costumes, there's not too many. We will click on them real quick. We have work overalls, which are super adorable. We have a ooh, gorgeous blue formal suit. These also come in different colors. I'm just clicking kind of on the first one of them. This is a snowman's tuxedo. So it kind of goes with that dress. I wonder if this is gonna be a multiplayer. Actually, don't remember, because it'd be kind of cool. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And Ellie and I would 100% both wear this. This is gorgeous. Okay, the green floral jumpsuit's gorgeous. I love that. Oh, it comes in different colors. Oh my. 
Can we have can we have outfit slots so I can just keep making outfits? Because this is gorgeous. I love this. This is so beautiful. Okay, well, we out here. This is also the high-tech one. The futuristic. We got some beautiful overalls. And we got overalls that have a pumpkin on it, I think. Um, so there's, I guess those are like the plain one. And then there's sturdy overalls. And they come with that symbol on it. We have fishing outfit. You know when we go fishing with Goofy? And then Ralph's outfit, which is kind of cool. You get Ralph's whole fit. And his fit looks, honestly, his fit looks comfy. I'd wear it. I'd wear it. So that is all of the outfits they have for now. So I'm sure they'll keep adding to these things. I like, obviously they'll probably keep adding to them. Okay, that's the wardrobe. This character is looking so cute. Let's click ready. And what is their name? Tatiana. If I do this, will I not be able, we'll see. What if I'm not able to make another one? Okay, we'll see. Tatiana. <laughs> okay, and now select the desired format for using your image and using shortcuts. So you can take images with um, a different Pixar or Disney character, and you can also kind of take selfies and post them online. So y'all better be looking for it. I will post it online when this video goes live, uh, and I'll put it also in the community tab if you guys want to check it out. Uh, choose an expression, a backdrop, and frame. You're going to get fancy with it. There are two camera modes, selfie and mid-range. In selfie mode, you can crouch when posing with smaller characters. Okay. Kind of cool. Oh, you can choose the room's vibe. Honestly, I'm kind of down for this space room. Match my fit, so I'm kind of down for that. We can R to hide the UI. Kind of cool. Uh, T to change format. Oh, I guess how the picture is taken. So I guess like this would be like a TikTok, Insta, anything else. <laughs> okay, we have V to change camera mode. Oh, oh, so we're taking the selfie oh, the or it's from over here. The selfie mode's kind of cool and then you hide the UI. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's do, oh, and E captures it. Okay, let's change more stuff. Okay, we can change two poses. Our smile, we can be super sus. Here is so nice. <laughs> we can be like, I'm having fun, I guess. <laughs> okay, kind of cool. That's kind of nice. But that one looks scared. Okay. Oh, you can have filters. Okay, nice. And we can have border edges. You could say Dreamlight Valley in the picture. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think we'll change, what is it, the format? And we'll get, can I change the camera? Move the camera, oh, okay. <laughs> what if I'm just like, no, Minnie? Is Minnie running? <laughs> Minnie's like, let me in the photo. <laughs> Minnie's like, let me in the photo. Minnie's like, please. <laughs> But he's like, let me in the photo. What if I go over here and just like snap the photo? <laughs> no, that's not the photo. That's not the photo. Okay. <laughs> Mini. Not Mini whipping. That's so funny. Wait, can I change? No offense, Mini. Can you go? <laughs> can I pose with someone else? No offense, Mini. I guess you can't. Okay, where's a good place? Minnie, I'm not actually goofing with you right now. I'm actually just trying to find a good spot for our photo where it's like kind of... Okay, maybe with Disney Dreamlight Valley in the back. And my sound system. <laughs> my bopping sound system in the back. Okay, R. Okay, let's take a photo with E. Okay, so now it says a QR code. Oh. I said to save it. Oh, it's saved to my computer. Okay, so you can save a whole bunch of them. And then you get an avatar code. Okay, y'all can't see it, you can't take her. <laughs> y'all can't take her, sorry. Okay, so I can also bend down to have M Minnie in the picture marks. I felt bad, Minnie was kind of just not in the photo. Time to get a thumbnail photo. <laughs> yes, we got a photo. Okay, let's take another. I'm not done yet. I'm taking photos all day. Okay, we got a pose. 
We already did that pose. Do a different pose. <laughs> That's a cute one. Okay, we'll save that one. All right, that's it. That's enough photos. We've been taking photos. I've been taking photos for five minutes. We can't take photos. So I think that's it for Disney Dreamlight Valley's avatar creator. It looks like this is maybe like where you log in and maybe you'd be able to do more. I'm going to get my avatar code. You guys can't have it. Okay, I'm going to get my avatar code. Maybe we'll use this avatar. Maybe we'll be using a different avatar. It looks like I can go back in and actually change things. Um which is really cool. So I can kind of keep coming in and changing it, which is really nice. There's also a radio option, which I never saw up here. Did you guys ever see that up here? I feel like that wasn't there, um, but there's lots of options and it looks like I can just go back in and customize whatever I want. So I'm wondering if you can do this at all times. Um, but yeah, this is my character I made. I actually kind of love her, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just not sure if that's the one that I want yet. So I'm gonna get my avatar code. So if you do this, make sure you go to avatar code and make sure you show your code to yourself. Don't share it, don't do that. I don't endorse doing that, um, but click this and you'll be able to save your code. Um, it's, it tells you here what you're supposed to do and how you'll be able to put it in to, um, uh, like whatever, um, system that you're going to play off of. And it does say you will only be able to import an avatar using the avatar code from the demo one time. So it's not like you can share this code with a bunch of people. If you do it, they'll steal your actual avatar. So do not show the code. Do not give people the code. Keep your avatar. Um, so yeah, that is about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're going to check out Disney Dream Life Valley, be sure to let me know. I know this video is probably really long. I'm going to kind of like break it up um, so that you guys can kind of get like um, like sections and know like what you want to see. Like if you want to see the outfits or you want to see more of the body customization or come back to it. I will put those d um, down below so you'll be able to click on certain parts and know when I'm going to clothing or body shapes or whatever. So I'll leave that um, timestamp so you guys have those and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I think that's it for me. I think that's it. Remember to stay safe, hug your loved ones, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. We've got a sim